Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a T-54, it's a tier 9 Soviet medium tank and it's located on the north spawn of Steps Encounter and it's under the command of Yo Mamas. Now the T-54 100mm gun, very thick armour at the front which is incredibly well angled, 120mm and uh, well basically it's a very good main battle tank. Game started. One of the bad things about this tank is the gun depression, unfortunately, virtually non existent. As you can see, it's got that front bit which is just, well, ooh, it's really narrowly past the Scorpion G. It's um, that lip at the top of the uh, front of the vehicle actually stops the gun being depressed below a certain angle, but it's also the fact that it's got a very flat roof, and that means that the gun can't tilt upwards anyway even if they wanted to. But apart from that, it's very fast, very nippy and very capable. Now the gun is capable of 320 Alpha. This is the uh, top version. And then I'm just taking it straight to the cap area. But I think he's actually going to sit next to this rock and try and ambush any of the enemy that comes towards the cap. And he's got his first customer, an AMX 1375. And they've interrupted the cap world, Type 62 did. And he's harassing that 1375. And it looks like he's going to get the first kill. Yes, he did. But Yamamas has decided to push up and get to the cap area. So does this Lorraine. He's coming in fast. So it looks like they're going to try and defend the cap area from the approaching enemy. Okay, we've got a defender coming up around there. And the 252U, which is the standard version, which is the one I prefer. Not so garish as the other one. And he got a nice penetration there for 320. Bounced around for return. Now that's got the 122mm gun, the 252. One into the side, 330. High roll. Can you get another one onto that defender? Well, he tried, didn't get on that one. He needs to be careful, the gun's pointed this way now. No plate, but didn't go through. Oh, now, well, that 2x2, you went down. And now we've got that defender on the corner. And our M103 is facing off against him. And in fact, the Type 62 very cheekily has gone around the corner. And he's trying to attack the defender head on. And we're trying to get him some help. That's 355. He's now two shots. We get one in through his rear or through the side. Yeah. Oh, we got we lucky there. He took damage just before we shot. And so we got that kill. Type 62's happy. He, uh, he ticked affirmative there. I think they saved his neck because uh, that defender was well prepared to take him. Right, he's letting one of his teammates put holes in that OME before he pops up to take one himself. No, he didn't get it through. He needs to get closer. And the OME's gone. He was killed by the uh, Lorraine 40 ton. Now, he's moving south. I like doing this actually because uh, you can actually use these hills to shoot at the enemy from long range. And there's the enemy RT. It's the Rain 15550. Oh, what a shot! Very long range shot there. On the move. Overmatches the armor on the strip. 326, a low roll. At least I think it's a low roll. Is that a low roll? No, it's a high roll. <laughs> Six under. Shows how crap I am sometimes for remembering the uh, the damage values, the alpha values. Ah, oh, now that's strip. He's not looking our way, and we put one into his side. Now that's a low roll, and he's now paying attention to us. So we're going to need to use this ridge line, and we're just showing our top bar turret, which is the bouncy turret. Bounces a lot of rounds. We're moving up. 
that strip knows where we are. And now they're all bouncing down from the strip, but we, uh, there's the FCU, but we put one back into him. That'll deter him from doing it again. He's turned to face our teammates, and we got him out. Now, strip, it's the next one. Probably be better actually going up above him and shooting down on him. And I get the impression that's what Yamamas is going to do. We're two behind the enemy at the moment, but we could change that very shortly. Oh, lovely one! Yes! It's another kill. Three kills now. There's the enemy RT on the next one. The M12. There's still two RTs out there. That Lorraine's still very badly wounded, but their M12's trying to run away. There he is. And we put one into him. Take virtually all of his hit points away. They're one shots now, both of them. In fact, you could probably ram kill them. And your mum is just going to go up top and shoot down on them from up on high. Okay, now easy kill. Yep, gotcha. Now, where's that Pascucci's? Oh, a meal on the way in. And we want to avoid him if we can help it. He's also fairly, fairly healthy. 75% this health there. We don't know where there's... Yep. He's going to have shots on us very shortly. And yes, he did put a round in. Now, it's impossible to penetrate them easily from the front. You need to get behind them. And he got one in, but unfortunately we're now around his front again. And you can see the range driving away. We got that one in. But we, need, we don't really want to be fighting him face on face. We want to get behind him if we can help it. That one's not going to work. That bounced off that front turret, which is very, very bouncy. Want to get behind him. Well, that one worked, but we must get behind him as quickly as we can. We're firing the heat ammo. Now, try and get behind. That one got in. One more shot should be enough. Can we get it? Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Only 25 hit points, but it was worth it. Yeah, the best thing you come up against in a meal like that is get behind them, because uh, it's very easy to bounce shots off that front turret or the armor. Um, I mean, he had to switch to the heat ammo to do that, but it's allowed the Lorraine to get away, and now he's all alone facing three enemies. He's got five kills, so one more, and he's got a top gun. And he's still loaded with the heat ammo. The three opponents he's up against, well, he only really needs the heat for the Object 430. The others he could probably penetrate quite easily with standard AP. In fact, he could probably take out the Lorraine with just an HE round. But right. it's going up high. The enemy did get into the cap, and I suspect that the one that's capping at the moment is the Lorraine. And I don't think the enemy knows where he is. I'll have the sneaking suspicion that he's trying to, well, wait for the enemy to try and approach him and find him so he can shoot on them from a perch. Oh, he's been spotted! And it's the 40 ton. Now, it bounced around from that 100mm gun, which is quite amazing because it's a uh, very good penetration. But he can't stay where he is. He has to move. It is um, an encounter game, so obviously the uh, he's got much longer before the enemy caps out. So he's got plenty of time to relocate. But the Lorraine knows where he is, and... Oh! I thought for a second they'd stop capping, but... Nope, they're still going. It must be the one, the rain one five five fifty that's capping at the moment. I don't think there's. The, oh, there's the four thirty. Need that heat ammo and selected heat. Now he can get it with a couple of shots, I think. Well, he got one in. One more, and that should be enough. Oh yes, top gun. But he's still got that Lorraine 40 ton to deal with. 
and he's reloaded the heat round. Here comes the Lorraine. Oh! That 100mm gun is just sometimes too good. And that's the end of the game. So, Top Gun. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tank of a young mamas and the T-54. He got a sharpshooter badge, a fire for effect, a duelist and a bruiser medal. But he did pick up an epic medal. He got a top gun. And in fact, actually, it's the first ace tanker he's had in the T-54. Um, win eight for the game, 9,945. Super Unicum level. Well, he did engage in quite a few duels with superior tanks, which was quite astonishing. Uh, that in meal two, uh, really not the sort of tank you should be tangling with in a T-54 medium. Though it's a heavy tank, but uh, he was handling it with the uh, heat ammo. Let's have a look at team score. Well, there you go. He didn't get the highest damage. That went to the Lorraine 40 ton. He picked up an Oskins medal in a high caliber. He got 5,409 hit points of damage in total. Uh, Yamamas managed 5,037, so he wasn't that far behind. And he also managed to pick up the highest number of kills, six. The Lorraine only managed four. Uh, and it's a bunch of attacks for three kills. And when it came to base XP, uh, the Lorraine 40 ton got one fire. 1588 which means that he probably also got an ace tanker <coughs> excuse me and um uh, the striv on the enemy team managed to get 829 then came your with 826 so you can see how hard he worked to get that 826 he fired 29 shots during that game he got 28 direct hits and 20 penetrations uh, 5037 hit points of damage of which 940 were at more than 300 meters he received 10 hits from the enemy, 5 for penetrations, 5 non-penetrations, and he blocked damage of 1,790 hit points. He spotted 3 enemy vehicles, damaged 9 of the enemy, killed 6 of them, and did damage assistance of 443 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 70,922 credits, got 6,641 for courageous resistance, that's for getting the top gun, and his total came to 77,562 credits. So here's the bad news. After repair and ammunition resupply, remember he used a huge amount of heat ammo on the uh, uh, Emil and also on the 430. Well, on the 430 he only used two rounds, but um, yeah, he did use a lot of heat ammo. And as a consequence of that, he actually took away a deficit of 7,064 credits. But um, yeah, I think actually it was a very good round considering what he was trying to take on. Um, superior opponents in a medium tank, yeah, very difficult, especially when you consider that the 252 and the Defender are very, very difficult to get the through, except when you can shoot at their sights, and luckily he, they did give him their sights to shoot at. Uh, he picked up one bond for getting the top gun, uh, 1,239 XP, 688 for Courageous Resistance, took away 1,927 experience points altogether. So a nice little ace tanker there. Again, as I said, it's uh, difficult to take on superior opponents. He is only a tier 9 medium and was up against some very, very heavy tanks uh, to kill the Emil 2, the Defender and the 252. Uh, but he handled himself very well considering. And uh, it's just a pity in the end that uh, he just couldn't um, save his hit points on the Emil and get behind him to attack him from behind. I think actually if he'd managed to run away from the Emil uh, and shoot at him from far enough away, then it might have made a big difference to him surviving the battle. But uh, in the end, uh, well, just lost too much hit points. But it was a good game all the same. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.